For Christmas, the kids usually get me some easy cheese. The reason they get it for me is they love uh, the designs I make on their crackers. I made for Lydia. It's supposed to be a Hello Kitty, but um, I don't know if it looks like one or not, but kind of. And then Charity made one for me. What's this? Looks like lots of stars. Let me see. Let me see. That's supposed to be stars, Charity? Yep. Okay. She, she made a, a constellation for Daddy. Stars. See? And I made a boat for Peter and a couple of hearts for Mommy. Now John's trying to make one for me, but he can't figure out how to get the cheese to come out. He's working on that. <laughs> He'll get it figured out yet. I think John made me a big blob. <laughs> Peter made, it looks like a sea cucumber or something like that. We're going to a wake right now. Uh, Janelle's grandpa died a few days ago and we're headed up to Skylerville. Janelle's not able to go though because she's having a lot of uh, uh, contractions and things like that and she needs to be on bed rest right now. So she's taking it easy at home, hopefully taking it easy. And I have all the kids. There's a monument. It's for, oh, look at that little cemetery there. That's Colonel Didn't know it was Morgan. There, Colonel Morgan Cemetery. Uh, the monument is for uh, to remember the battles of uh, Saratoga. Um, and Skylerville built this monument. You're supposed to be able to see all the battlefields from up at the top. We are here. We found it. Well, we decided to get out and look around. Yeah, there's the monument. I don't, I don't know what this place is, but there's a little sign. Let's go check it out. Prospect Hill Cemetery Vault. This vault was constructed in 1873 as a capstone over the door shows. Although you can barely read it. It was used as a holding place for caskets until the weather would permit burial in the spring. The severe winters here in the northeast prevented the caretakers from digging the graves until spring. The digging was done by hand for one dollar a grave. Does anyone want to get digging? There's the monument. That's really tall. Something interesting, there are three statues on the monument. And I'll walk around and show them to you. And there's the other one, and I believe uh, John says that he thinks that's General Philip Schuyler. And this one, John thinks is Thaddeus Kosciusko, or something, I think that's how you pronounce it. And as you can see, it was made in 1877 uh, to remember the Battle of Saratoga. And then on the other side, there is nobody. And there's actually a reason for that. It was supposed to be Benedict Arnold, but because Benedict Arnold was one of the heroes of the Battle of Saratoga. But since he uh, was a traitor, they put a spot for him, but they left it empty. There's a cannon. I think this is real. That's cool. Yeah, I don't think it's going to shoot. This looks real to me. It says 6 to 13. Where do you light it? You put the, yeah, right in there. Right there. Well, they filled in the hole, but you put the wick right there. This place here is kind of interesting. They move houses. Larman House. Larman House Movers. And I thought about doing that before as a job, but I never did, of course. And they have all kinds of I beams over there to put under the houses. And they're trucks to move the houses. There's a little sun dog over there. I think that's what you call it. It looks like a tiny little rainbow. We're finally ready to put the polyurethane down on the floor. And I actually found it. Down the basement. We did a floor, oh, maybe a couple years ago. So I still have that. I haven't checked to see if it's still in good shape. but. And the most amazing thing, we found our thing to apply it with. And we even found the little fleece thing that goes on it. Since this is the hallway to the boys' room, and yes, we did hang that up to keep dust out, uh, we are going to have to move all the boys' stuff out that they're going to need for the next few days. We're finally ready to go after about three weeks. We got the paintbrush ready, the paint holder ready, and the, the stuff is white, but it's clear when it dries on there, so it should be okay. And we're ready to go.
I did the part that I needed to do with the paintbrush, and now I have this thing. Oh, looking pretty good. Looks a lot better than it was. I get around the corner here. Okay, if we can do this, I think almost anyone can do this. First coat is done. At 11 o'clock, we get to do the second coat. If you remember from Christmas Eve, my Christmas present to John was I was going to sit down and watch a football game with him. The only problem is there are no football games on TV right now, so we're going to watch one on YouTube. Ready to get started, John? Yeah. And he even has his football game set up. John is going to put the football on the field and teach me about the game. It looks like a fumble. Yeah, it's, it's a fumble. But then I get... He, and then watch this guy. In all state. John just placed the ball. I think Dallas has. How many yards does Dallas have? Uh, 13 more. 13 more. Before they get a touchdown. We have a little girl who thought she just took a nap. Well, we tried to put her to bed, but she got up anyway. Oh, no. No, this wasn't a nap. You're supposed to go night night. <laughs> How's the game going, John? Good. What's the score? 14-0. For who? 14-0. For who? <coughs> For um, the Cowboys. The Cowboys are winning. There's all free ADHD people watching the football game. I did it. I sat down for the first time in my life and watched a football game for an entire half. It is bedtime though, so John's going to bed. The most I've ever watched a football game is a couple minutes on TV. I have watched a lot of football games in person, uh, like high school football games. The first half is done and the kids are going to bed. I'll have to watch the second half uh, probably tomorrow. About time for Mary to go night night, but before we do, Mary likes lots of Marys. We'll show you lots of Marys. There are lots of Marys. <laughs> Can you see all those Marys? It's almost 11 o'clock and the kids are finally in bed, so it's time to do the second coat. You gotta sand it and then put the second coat on and then go to bed. We're almost at the uh, Saratoga National Cemetery. There's people there. We found it without getting lost at all. And I see Grant. Gerald B.H. Solomon was our congressman oh, maybe 15, 20 years ago. One time he challenged Ted Kennedy to a fight right in Congress. No. That's what it looks like. There's another one. There's a... I'm not driving on the lawn, John. <laughs> For service to this nation and the sacrifices made with honor, dignity, and respect, we sincerely thank you, Lawrence G. Charbonneau, United States Air Force, World War II veteran. Please regard Roger standing for those who stood for us. And there's the Patriot Guard riders. Usually they ride their motorcycles, but today I don't think they're doing that. It's a little cold. Yeah, there's a rock there. Yeah. We need to get a video of the digger over there. This guy must have been a bugle player. Grandpa's getting flowers for the kiddos. There's one for Mary. This is for you. Yeah. Now Peter's making a statement here. He's got a gun shell with a flower in it. He got one. Yeah. Cool. John too. And there, Grandpa and Grandma. That's an interesting saying on a tombstone. To be continued. Saratoga National Historical Park. And there's the... And then right up there, on top of that hill, I'll slow down here, there are some, you can see the white post. And that's where a battle was fought for the American Revolution. This is Saratoga National Battlefield. And there's, there's the cannon. cannon. Right. And they kept a lookout over the Hudson River. The cannon. Right up from there. 
and That's shot the cannons at the boats that tried to get past. Did any boats actually try to get past or not? That's actually the great redoubt of the bridge. Okay. Not. And right over there, you can see the Hudson River. It's, it's through the trees. There's a sod farm right here. It's not very often you get to see a sod farm. We're on Saratoga Lake. Yep, there's Mommy's old house right there. Except it didn't look like that when Mommy lived there.